Hi there, me again. In my last video, Christina, my mom, and I started our journey down Route 66 on the way to Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Our first stop was in Santa Rosa, New Mexico, where I took some medium format film photos in the morning and evening light. Here's a few photos from that video. Our second day was a long haul that would take us all the way to our final destination of Lake Havasu. Once we finished the long drive, I thought the first day should be spent showing Christina around the city. Lake Havasu City is a beautiful place with a lot to do, so after a quick round of pool at our Airbnb, we did some exploring. Here's a few iPhone photos. Toward the end of the day, I loaded up some Ektar 100 to warm up my film shooting muscles. What I was warming up for was a morning trip to Yucca, Arizona, a town bypassed by Route 66. But it wasn't always this way. In 1952, Route 66 was realigned to bypass the treacherous mountain road to Oatman, Arizona. More on that later. For now, let's head to Yucca. I hit the road before sunrise. There's not much left in this small town I was going to, as it was an overlooked stop once I-40 was built. But there is one amazing monument to Route 66 that I've been dreaming of photographing. The Honolulu Club. Hey everybody. So, I drove about 45 minutes before sunrise, now it is sunrise, but I made it to the Honolulu Club, this old bar, I guess is what it is, and uh, I saw this two years ago when I first came here, but didn't think to stop, and the next time I was here a year later, it was cloudy, and now we have the perfect conditions. So I took a few shots right before sunrise, and now the sun's coming up, so I'm gonna get a couple more. I'm really glad I got here before sunrise, because the photos I took without direct sunlight hitting the building are something special. I stood on the roof of my car to get this photo. I really wanted to get the mountains poking up behind the building, and it worked. You might notice some noise at the bottom of this photo. That's because there were some strange dark areas, maybe created by the shutter or mirror. I'm not really sure, but I fixed it as best I could. This is my favorite photo I got of the bar. I think the light hitting the front face of the building is beautiful. I love that the sign is still intact on this side, but still shows some weathering. And the mountains still show themselves a little on the left side of the frame. Overall, a very nice scene. I wanted to get a few photos once the sun was up as well. They're still good, but they have a much different look. I really like this one that I cropped to 4x5. This photo has some pretty vicious light leaks, but you know what? I don't mind it. This really shows the difference before and after sunrise. Just like that, my morning shoot at the Honolulu Club had come to an end. Oh, I did it. That was quite the morning photo mission in Yucca, Arizona, out in the middle of nowhere, but in a beautiful, beautiful area nonetheless. This place is surrounded by mountains on all sides, and this beautiful little bar is situated right in the middle of all of it. 
I've been thinking about this bar for two years, so it's been festering in my mind, and I just like, I feel like I can't even leave. It just feels like such a magical place now at this point, because I've just been thinking about it for so long, and I knew that when I came here, it wasn't going to be quite what I pre-visualized when I thought about this scene. Um, I just had to tell myself that repeatedly on the drive over here that it wasn't going to be perfect, it wasn't going to be exactly what I was thinking it would be, but such is film photography. That's kind of the way she goes. Man, I just can't believe I got it. I'm super glad I got a photo before this building eventually comes down. I'm sure this building is getting torn down at some point. And I'm glad I could lock it in the history books on some celluloid. So, that is another chapter checked off of my film photographic journey. Let's head back. This old bar may not seem like much, but it really is a forgotten historical artifact. There may be a couple other things to photograph in Yucca. Maybe I'll come back and explore further. But now I was headed back to Lake Havasu, thinking about some things I saw on the way out to Yucca. Some things that would also look good in the early morning light. So, you guessed it, the next morning I was up early again. My first stop was the Lakeview Community Church, which had some awesome Christmas lights. This photo was taken on Kodak Ektar with my Canon P. This is a nicely balanced scene with the main subject being that first group of Christmas lights on the left. I like how when you look at this photo you slowly start to notice all the little groups of lights sprinkled around the building. I also enjoy the palm fronds sticking out from the right side of the frame. I think they add a little environmental context to this photo. Here's a wider shot I also took on Kodak Ektar with the Canon P. I think this photo shows all the effort that the people at this church went to to decorate all the palm trees. I also love the glow emitting from the little tower. I took a little extra time editing this photo to make that pop. Here's a similar photo I took on the Bronica with Fuji Pro 400H. I like this one too. I think the building and trees work together a little bit better in this shot. You can see the cross on the side of the building much better. I also cropped this one to 4x5 to cut out some unneeded sky. Then as the light got brighter outside I took this photo again. I think I like this one better. The way the light hits the building is more what I was picturing. I took two photos here. This is Ektar scanned as Ektar in Silverfast, and this is Ektar scanned as Portrait 400. I like this scan a bit better. It's less contrasty, which is what I was going for. But what do you guys think? Let me know. After I was done at the church, I decided to finish off the roll with Pro 400H. I started at this aquatic center that had some fun holiday decorations on it. I also took a similar photo once the sun came up. Then I had another idea after taking these photos. Alright, hi everybody. We are here on Lake Havasu. I am by the skate park that I actually did a video last year. I was here. and. Uh, what we're gonna try and do today is I have this idea for a composition of just like a single palm tree or a nice little cluster of palm trees in the foreground and the really really nice mountain range in the background so hopefully we can find a nice palm tree that we can make that work with and I was thinking about doing it uh, like it's sunrise so like when there's a little bit of light hitting the palm tree from the side and a little bit of light going through the canyons and stuff so hopefully hopefully it turns out 
but I'm excited to go scout this location and see what we can find. So let's get out there. I found my first subject for this composition that I was trying to make. This one was hard to frame up because the palm tree was so tall. This is just okay. There wasn't enough light on the palm tree though, but it's a solid start. Well, I think we kind of got what we were after. That is a successful morning. I got two buzzer beater blue hour compositions before those Christmas lights turned off. And I was able to actually get this, which is pretty crazy. I wasn't really confident that I was going to be able to get this composition with like a 40 millimeter lens, but hey, we did it. After walking along the lake shore for a little while, I think I found the perfect palm tree. All right, well, I thought I had a good composition before, but I think this one's even better. I found a shorter palm tree that I could get a little bit closer to, and hopefully that makes the mountains a little bit bigger in the background. And on top of that, this palm tree has a bunch of doves sitting in it, which I think makes the composition and the picture super, super interesting. So, awesome. And the light is a little bit brighter on this palm tree, so. I bet I'll like this one a little bit better. So this was a good morning of film photography. This is much closer to what I was picturing. There's way more light on the palm tree, and the doves are such a cool, subtle detail. Before I packed up, I found these two palm trees that looked so nice together. So I got out my Canon P, still loaded with Ektar, and put on the 90mm lens. Now this is exactly what I was picturing. The 90mm compressed the image perfectly for a landscape image like this. I also converted this photo to black and white. I actually think I like the black and white version better, which is pretty rare for me. Well, these are the last two photos of the day. Which do you like better? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the second installment of the Route 66 series that I'm doing, and I am really personally super happy that I got to feature Yucca, Arizona, and the Honolulu Club, which I've been thinking about for over two years. So I'm super, super satisfied and happy with the photos that I got, and I hope you guys liked them as much as I did. I was also glad that I got a couple bonus photos for you guys to show you from Lake Havasu City. Um, I think the church images turned out really, really nice, and those palm tree images that I got were pretty much exactly what I was trying to get, so that was really satisfying as well. And speaking of those palm tree images, the last two that I showed you, um, Whipple Mountain Palms, both in color and black and white, are for sale on my print store. So if you really liked that image, you can go pick that up in color or black and white, and yeah. I'll see you guys out on the road for the next installment of the Route 66 series. Bye now.